Hey everybody, welcome back. All right, our underwear proctor run continues. We had a really good first episode. Let's hope we can keep. Uh, let's hope we can keep the uh, the good times rolling here. All right, as always, there's a map. Uh, we don't need it. We're going to unlock this door up here, and then toss the key or try to anyway. Move our salve and upgrade sphere to the box. Move the box to our inventory. All right. Again, searching through containers is... It might seem pointless, since we can't take any armor and we're not going to find a better weapon anytime soon, but we're doing that for the XP. So we can learn more skills. And I definitely, at the beginning, I should not have taken any of the maneuvering and armor skills. I should have just maxed everything else right from the start. But that's fine. That's fine. Alright. And again, being able to move so so easily, so quickly, without any encumbrance, is such a nice thing. Alright, it's kind of like when you have the President's Armor and you put a blue crystal in it and you have zero encumbrance, but of course that's a much better situation than having no armor. And, I don't know, I foresee... Well, here's the deal. If we go to the catacombs, we're going to die. It's pretty much how I see it. I don't I don't really think we can survive the catacombs, but if we if we skip the catacombs, we could survive till at least Sir's level, I think. Whoa, that was weird, but I'll take it. All right. Someone had uh, mentioned in the comments to the previous video that I, they wondered if not having any encumbrance would make us less likely to fall when trying to platform, so I am interested to see how the platforming works, but I don't want to mess with all those skeletons in the catacombs. We'll just have to see how it goes. Alright. I'm not even going to look at the stats of this armor, because I don't want to, because I know I'm finding all kinds of great stuff right now, and it's just going to be annoying when I realize how good all this stuff is and I can't use it. So I'm not even looking at the stats. It's irrelevant. Come on, search. All right. Hopefully we'll be able... There's two enemies in this upcoming room. Hopefully we can isolate them, fight them one at a time. So we'll stick to the left side here. Try to get this guy's attention by swinging our weapon menacingly. Oh, we got both of them. That's not good. Oh, they're going to fight each other. This is brilliant. All right. I'm going to use this opportunity just like that to cheap shot the guy with the two-handed sword. And uh, it's a great long sword, but I will never use it for various reasons. Alright, so that's going to be it for this first floor. So, uh, the first floor was a success. Now things will get more difficult. But, if we're patient, and that's a key, if we're patient, 
we should should do all right here on the second floor. But if I rush into fights, if I act uh, impulsively, then that's not going to happen. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh man, that sword went completely through him. Love it. Oh, I love the Proctor sword so much. Really do. I know I say it all the time, but it's true. And I want to show the Proctor sword how much I love it. I don't want it to think that I don't love it. got the uh, I've got the distance down for the face stabs with the proctor sword sometimes the enemy will move in too close and we have to resort to an overhead or something but generally speaking what's the was the yeah the head of the mace looks kind of greenish hadn't really noticed that before Again, we're checking all the boxes to get our Exploration XP. There have been so many Gambesons and Leggings. Ridiculous. Come on. Move this. Thing. Okay, never mind. All right. Get this stuff out of the way. Arming cap, yeah, all kinds of good stuff. All kinds of good stuff. Of course. do seem a little less likely to fall when you stumble with this very low encumbrance it seems to I guess there's just not as much momentum to send you flying where is the zombie that's not there it is is there another one what did I just see no okay Whoa, whoa, that was close. I should not have stabbed there because I knew the distance had changed. But I did it anyway because I figured, well, I could probably pull it off. Come on. Alright, where what are we stuck on? What 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 is going on here? Come on. There we go. Okay, upgrade sphere. Our Proctor Sword is already in flawless condition. By the way, completely unrelated... Oh, man! Completely unrelated to Exanima, but... Uh there's any 40k fans out there there's a new Space Marine 2 trailer that's out today and it looks pretty sweet man it looks pretty sweet it's been a long time coming oh god oh so uh, I'm very hyped about I try not to get hyped about any games anymore because usually if you get hyped about a game you're going to get disappointed no matter what but Space Marine 2 is looking pretty sweet. Alright. So yeah, if you haven't seen that trailer, it's a gameplay trailer. Uh, I highly recommend you check it out. I'm a big fan of Warhammer, both Fantasy and 40k, but I never played the tabletop game. I 
there was a time when I watched a lot of people playing it on YouTube. I do enjoy watching people play it, but uh, I never played it myself. But I am a fan of just the, the universe, the lore. I enjoy that new uh, Warhammer 40k Speed Freaks game, that racing combat game, kind of like Twisted Metal, but 40k. Been actually been playing that a lot since it came out, finally, the other day. That game's free, by the way. Speed Freaks. Uh, Freaks is misspelled. F-R-E-E-K-S. Might be something to check out if you're a, either a Warhammer fan or a racing fan. I'm really not big on normal racing games, but if there's combat like Mario Kart, I'm all about it. Unfortunately, Speed Freaks is not... It doesn't have like a Mario Kart style racing mode. It's more objective-based combat with only a tiny amount of actual kind of racing stuff, but it's a good game. Good game. And I'm sure if you are a, a Warhammer fan or a fan of the games in general, you know that sadly a lot of the times Warhammer games are terrible. Is this one-handed? Yeah, it's one-handed. But I was you know, pleasantly surprised with Speed Freaks. And Space Marine was awesome, and Space Marine 2 looks like it's going to be awesome, so that's cool. You know, we could do a little platforming here, but it's, it's really not worth it since there's nothing... There's not Okay. There's, some, there's the platforming. Now we don't have to do the other platforming. Now we just saw what would have happened. We would have fallen to our death. Okay. I do love the fact that the sword, the tip of the sword sticks in their face and kind of pulls them towards you, but it's also kind of annoying because it messes up my range for the follow-up attack, but it's okay. Rest plate. Oh, that was a huge miss. Yeah, when at first you don't succeed with the stab, go to the overhead. Definitely go to the overhead. And if your stabs just aren't happening right now, if you keep missing, you keep misjudging the distance, just stick with the overheads. Man, there's just been, there's been some kind of leggings like in so on so many bodies and in so many boxes. Stabbed him in the forearm and stabbed him in the forearm again. There we go. Grab this key. You know, I know people who don't care about Warhammer are really groaning right now, but one game or set of games that's takes place in the Warhammer universe that's actually really good is the Total War Warhammer games, actually. Most Warhammer games are terrible, but uh, the Total War ones, I think, are really good. I am terrible at Total War games because I'm just really bad at thinking ahead. Really bad at it. I'm terrible at chess. I'm terrible at anything that involves strategy. 
Because I just, I don't know, I just cannot think a couple moves ahead. I just can't do it. But anyway, I still really like the the Total War Warhammer games. They just, they look so good. It's And it's, you know, it just really brings brings the universe to life. Yeah. It's weird, though. I do like a lot of, like, grand strategy games, even though, like I said, I'm just not good at them. Like, I love Crusader Kings 2 and 3. Absolutely love those games. Uh, not really into Europa Universalis or Hearts of Iron or those other Paradox grand strategies, but I really like Crusader Kings. I also really liked um, Field of Glory Empires, and then they have that new one now. Field of Glory Kingdoms, which I haven't played. I like those too. I'm the I mean I really I'm the type of person that will buy those games knowing full well that I will not enjoy them. Just because on some strange level I do enjoy them. And I'll watch, you know, YouTube videos and be like, okay, I finally understand how to play this type of game. I know what to do now. And then I sit down, start up the game, and I'm just like what? What do I do now? What how what do I do? I, I have no idea. Alright. Bar mace. I mean we may need some crush damage sometime soon, so let's just grab that. Now, you would think that going to the armory would be mostly pointless, and it probably is mostly pointless, but we're going to do it anyway after we get the key here in a minute. Alright, let's compare. Yeah, that's a superior great axe there. There's the armory key. Basically, we, we might find a good weapon in the armory. And of course, the exploration XP, like always, is a good thing. I wonder if I can take this easel out without falling. Oh yeah. I mean, I didn't run directly into it or anything, but and then the chair showed me who was boss. Alright, so let's go to the armory. I feel like we may have somehow passed a zombie or two, and we might run into them on the way back here. I feel like... I don't know where they would have been when we passed by, but I feel like there should have been at least one more. Hopefully I'm wrong. I seem to be wrong. What else is new? Alright, so here's the armory. Really don't care about those weapons. Yeah, nothing too special there. We'll look at the uh, Warhammer. Two and two. Eh. What did we have here? Two and a half crush. That's better. We'll look at the Bardish. Looks terrible. Yeah, it's terrible. Another upgrade sphere. Um... What is this at? Fair condition? Let's go ahead and upgrade this. Why not? It's now in Flawless and does three crush. What did I... Did this not drop? I guess it didn't drop. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, so this is where we're going to end this episode. Thank you, as always, for hanging out, everybody. I appreciate it. Please hit like and subscribe if you would like to. And I will see you all next time.